Hi there, I'm Mads and today I'm going to show you how I make a watercolor comic step by step using characters from my Polite Bear universe. The first thing that I usually do is sit down at my desk with a cup of coffee and get cozy and think about what I want my comic to be about. Usually I just let my mind wander and I think about some of the small moments recently that have made me happy. And sometimes my cat Miss Coco likes to come and sit next to me and help me brainstorm. So today the memory that stuck out to me was that my boyfriend recently cooked me a big tomato stir fry. Tomatoes are my absolute favorite food and he just looked so cute cooking up a big pan of tomatoes. And this memory makes me feel so warm and fuzzy so I think it's the perfect topic for a Polite Bear comic. But before I get writing, I just wanted to take a second and admire how beautiful tomatoes are. They're just such a lovely shape and color, and they add so much texture and flavor and juiciness to any dish. I feel like they're nature's artwork. Okay, so back to drawing a comic. So I decided that this comic was going to be from the perspective of Polite Bear, thinking about his bird and also thinking about tomatoes and kind of exploring what the relationship between the two of those are. So once I've decided on my idea, I jot down a couple of notes and then I decide how long I want the comic to be. Today I decided on four panels total to keep it short and sweet. Then I sit down with my watercolor paper and I draw out a rough sketch of the comic to see what it looks like. For this one, I knew I wanted the last frame to be on Polite Bear's face to emphasize his thoughts, but other than that, I didn't have a strong idea of how the rest of it was going to look. I usually just let myself sketch and see what comes about organically. But this time I was happy with the sketch, so I finally moved on to the next step, which is filling it in with pen. As you can see, in the third panel, I'm drawing the bird shaped like a tomato. I drew a lot of inspiration from this from the Peanuts cartoons, where sometimes you can find Charlie Brown's head drawn as a separate object for comic relief. I really love Charles Schultz's comics, and I'm always looking at his work as a source of inspiration for my own stuff. So once I have outlined everything in pen, I move on to my favorite step, which is adding the watercolor.
And finally, once the watercolor has dried, I go back over all of the outlines again with my pen just to make sure everything looks super crisp and bold and vibrant. And this is my last step, and then my comic is complete. So yeah, here is the final look of how it turned out. I hope you enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching.